Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Jess, and today we are continuing the wardrobe essential series. This one's all about fall jackets and coats, my favorite part of my wardrobe in these seasons. I have narrowed it down to five like different category of coats that I think will really last you forever, be a really good basis for that forever wardrobe. So let's try them on. I have a couple from each category, so it's gonna take a little bit. First off are quilted jackets. I'm gonna talk mostly about shorter ones. I haven't found really any long ones that aren't like winter parkas that I love. So this one on my right, the green one is an H&M one and the left one is like the cult classic by now. I think it's the Frankie Shop one. I have it in the white and black. These are great staples. They are a lot warmer than I expected. I actually wore the Frankie Shop one into dead of winter last year because it's a really good like wind repellent layer and then you can wear like super oversized sweaters underneath and I was totally warm. This is the H&M one on. Last time I checked this one was sold out but I do know that people have found it in store. I am wearing a size large and it's in like the classic kind of army green color. I really like this particular one because A, it's a lot cheaper than the Frankie Shop one and it's not like a shiny material. Sometimes when you find like the dupes, they're a little bit too shiny and this one's really soft and not like too crinkly. The reason why the quilted jacket is on my list is because it's like a forever piece. Like you can find vintage ones. It's been around for a very long time. It did gain a lot of popularity within the last couple of years, but it's not something that I see like going away anytime soon. It's just such a functional and cute piece. It adds a lot of great texture to an outfit. They come in different colors and you can find it in a lot of different price points. So I think that it's just very accessible for a lot of people. And because of the shape of it, you'll usually find it in like a boxier shape. You can layer a lot of things underneath it. Sometimes with fall jackets, depending on the style, like it's really hard to wear like oversized sweaters underneath. And a lot of the ones that I found that are quilted jackets have enough room in the armpit to fit like that big chunky sweater that I'm sure a lot of you have. So this is the Frankie Shop one. I have it in black and green as well because I love it so much. You can tell this one's a bit boxier and wider. It's just like the style of like the Frankie Shop style. Um, I find that a lot of their stuff is really, really over exaggerated. This one I think is a little bit thicker and harder, like stiffer. Um, but I also think it's a lot warmer. I haven't, I mean, worn the H&M one through winter yet, but just by feel of material, I think this one is a better like outer wind barrier than the H&M one, which is why I think this one will last you through more cold weather than the other one. So this one comes in a lot of colors. I think like brown, green, black, white with different like trims and stuff. I wear either size. I think this one is the like larger size and then the black one I have it in a smaller size but realistically they look the same on maybe like a little bit wider honestly I don't think the size matters it's a big jacket regardless so next up we have the jacket comes in obviously many different colors we can get it in patterns these both are the Aritzia Ghana jacket regular length long length these are just like my go-to recommendations when it comes to jackets so many different brands make them now but in terms of price point and quality I think the Aritzia one is like good bang for your buck I've had this one for I think over five years now this one is the newest edition I got it this year um, there are some differences in what year it was made but I still think that Either way, it's a good buy for the jacket. The reason the jacket's on my list is because it's just such a good everyday jacket. It's super casual, very comfy, um, especially like with my life as a mom now, I feel like this is an easy like throw on whenever I'm like bringing my kid out to the park. This one is in a size extra small and it's in the light birchy color, I think. I'll confirm in the comments. As you can see, it's like a super easy jacket. It's not bulky like the Frankie Shop quilted one you just saw. Um, it doesn't make any weird swishy noises. It does come in like wool. You can get it in like all cotton or all like acrylic polyester materials, whatever your preference is. But this one is 100% merino wool. It's super warm, super soft. I think I'm gonna have this jacket in my closet forever. It's just a really, really easy piece, especially for like throw over a t-shirt, a light sweater, and 
you're still gonna look put together because it's got like that collar and a little bit of structure from like that wool -y material. This one is the Ghana Jacket Long in a size medium. I would definitely size up in this one because it is a longer jacket. You don't want it to be too tight. It might make you look a little bit more constricted and it won't look as effortless. I love this pattern because it's like a nice like fall red plaid. I feel like I was missing that in my closet so I went for this one. The reason I would go with like a longer jacket is if like you love wearing leggings or like jumpsuits. It's just, at least for me, I feel more comfortable when I have a longer thing covering when I'm wearing something so tight underneath. And also it just looks better in terms of proportions. And it's a little bit warmer if you're wearing leggings and it gets a lot colder out. Having a longer wool jacket covering your legs makes a big difference. And now we're moving into like that wool tailored long jacket situation. We're talking about a little bit like thinner ones for fall. These ones are both not lined and they're really flowy, really beautiful. They're both actually from Oakenfort and they are like still available. I just checked them I think last week and you can still buy them. They look so good on, so let's try them on. So if you've been following me for a while, you know my style is more on the masculine side and tailored long jackets are just so perfect to add that little element of masculinity into your outfit. This one is like so beautiful. It's really soft. You can see it's really flowy, but it has a really good weight to it. I am wearing it in a size large. I will probably either get the sleeves a little bit tailored shortened or I'll just roll them up, but I like how the rest of the body fits and how it flows. I think if you like a little bit more of a masculine style, kind of like me, a single breasted jacket is like the way to go. That classic masculine, like I borrowed it from my dad, jacket look, then a double breasted one. Uh, the next one is double breasted, so you'll see the difference. I like both, but if you had to choose one, single breasted is probably my recommendation. This jacket is like a really good fall to winter transitional piece. Um, I will probably be wearing these ones throughout winter as well, but they are light enough to just layer over a t-shirt in this fall weather. Um, and then you just continue to layer more things underneath as the weather gets colder. So the other reason I would recommend like an oversized tailored coat is because it's a super easy thing to throw over like the most casual of outfits and look like you try to look like you put in the effort. Like you can throw this over a sweatsuit and it would look cool. Like paired with a beanie, a nice purse, some boots, even just sneakers and having like a tailored jacket over top like is chef's kiss, one of my favorite outfits, but also like the most minimal effort you ever have to put on to actually look chic and put together. And also I love how long this jacket is. So I'm wearing a size large in this again, and it's definitely <laughs> big. So I'm 5'5". Five five. If you're, I think, any shorter than 5'5", five five, this one could be a little bit too big for you, but it's a really, really good option if you're looking for a long statement coat. Then we have the classic trench coats. These ones I also love because you can find really beautiful ones that are vintage or some newer ones. So this one is a vintage one. This one is from ASOS, like I think last year or two years ago. I love trench coats because they just have that like nice European vibe to them and trench coats literally never go out of style. This is the one from ASOS. It is a single breasted trench coat, which almost makes it look like a MAC coat. Um, MAC coats are also really cool. They are very similar to a trench coat, just like a different style. I got this one oversized because again, you know, that's just my vibe. So this one is, I think called their like boyfriend or ex-boyfriend trench. It has a nice like corduroy collar, which I really like. It's very, very masculine inspired. So trench coats are definitely on the thinner side. So you're gonna have to layer if you are in colder temperatures. The good thing about trench coats is that most of them are made so that they can layer things underneath because it's like literally usually just like one or two layers of fabric. So this is the video vintage one I found it online I honestly can't remember the site but I'll link you some of my like favorite vintage online sites and you can tell this one's like much more of a classic trench coat it's double breasted it's got the waistband it's actually even got some shoulder padding in it I kept it because I actually kind of like extra little bit up here but if you don't you can easily get it removed the sleeves fit me so perfectly like I've never 
had a jacket that's oversized but still has like a good sleeve proportion um, before so I really really love that and it's a little bit lighter than the other trench coat that I just showed you this one definitely gives me a little bit more of like a feminine vibe um, which is something I love about trench coats like you can get them in such like an array of styles um, from super masculine ones to super super feminine ones so last but not least our sherpa sherling jackets love the texture and the comfiness for fall and winter so let's try these on so this is a sherpa jacket from zara it's like from their new collection but i do think that it sold out online heard from a lot of people that you can find it in store so i'm wearing a size medium in this one it is super soft so the reason why these sherpa and sherling jackets are on my list is because they will literally never go out of style they have been around for so long the texture is just such a good fall winter texture if you can invest in a real shirling one definitely do it i have one um but i just thought i'd show you these ones because they're definitely a more wallet friendly price real shirling is usually much more expensive so i just thought these ones would be a lot more wallet friendly so i show you these ones if you want to see my real one i can definitely do it in the next video i love this one because it is like a really easy shape in length. I think all of my Sherpa Shirling jackets are shorter ones. Um, I just find it hard to wear real Shirling when it's long because it's super heavy. Benefit of getting Sherpa is usually it's a lot lighter, but you have to find a good Sherpa because some Sherpas can be super stiff, which is what I had a problem with last year. And that's why I only got like good Sherpa ones this year. One of the main reasons why Sherpa is on my essentials list is because the texture is such a nice thing to have in your closet. You can be wearing like all the same texture underneath and adding this on top will really add dimension to your outfit. You usually go for more like vintage-y classic shapes when it comes to Sherpa um, coats. I mean, I guess coats in general. And this one is no exception. It's just a very beautiful classic shape there's enough room to fit like an oversized sweater underneath, but it isn't super big that it looks ridiculous with just like a t-shirt underneath. So this is a really good option. Then we have the super classic Sherpa Sherling colorway. I think when you think of these types of jackets, this is usually the colorway you're thinking of. This is from H&M and I'm wearing a size medium. Again, I tend to go up a size whenever I buy jackets because you have to think about layering things underneath so that it can last you for longer periods of time. I love the contrast of colors um, in this colorway. You have like the classic like Sherpa Sherling natural color with the darker on the outside. It really gives like that nice depth to the outfit. And this colorway, because it's so classic, makes it look like you've had it forever. But you literally just bought it this year. So this is a really good option if you're looking to get a Sherpa Sherling jacket, something that's in this like mid-tone caramel-y color. And that's a wrap to the fall jackets and coats wardrobe essentials video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or requests, leave them in the comment section. If you did like the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel so you get notified when I post a new video and it helps a lot in terms of supporting me. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.